Hello and welcome back to Schamberger Labs. I am your host, Rob Schamberger. And starting off season two uh, of this, uh, just did the Charlotte Flair painting, just did, only took me about three months. And now I'm starting a longer Undertaker painting. And unlike the Charlotte piece, which was done in acrylics, I'm gonna do this one all in watercolor. And starting it off, uh, applying some masking fluid down. Uh, it's just within the last year, really, I started introducing masking fluid into my paintings. I'd avoided it a long time. I, I think, like, one, I was just kind of like, well, dang it, I can just not paint in the areas that I want to stay white you know with with the watercolor and also um like it, it just destroys whatever you're trying to use uh to apply it with but uh at the the art supply store um the, one of the clerks helped me out with discovering this this applicator to use and there's a lot of different techniques that i'm freed up to use now because i can know that there are certain areas that are just gonna stay the pure brilliant white of the paper and so with that down now i've uh applied well now i'm on my second layer of watercolor just a a light blue this uh piece of Undertaker is largely all done with blues so I've got two primer layers down of a very light blue that'll kind of inform everything that I add in later and now I'm starting to build up some layers up in the the top which because this is in a stadium it's from Wrestlemania 23 after Undertaker defeated Batista holy moly i hope i got that right and um uh so now uh with, with watercolor it's a translucent medium meaning that you can see what's underneath it it's kind of like holding up uh um you know like some plastic wrap in front of you you can see through it but you also know that it's there and watercolor is like that it's essentially adding some uh pigment to some water and then when the water evaporates the pigment is left there and you can see just now i also removed some of the masking fluid because i've it's a uh, for a spotlight and there's a little bit of ambient light around that that uh I, i'm not going to need to add any more to so i can go ahead and remove some of that masking fluid and i'll do that as i go it's not like a certain stage where it's like okay now remove all the masking fluid i i, I kind of do it as i go also so that i can get a better gauge of the tones that i'm building up with the ever darkening blues that i'm going to be adding um and, and so i'm also working from the background up to the foreground and because this stadium is so huge you know like any stadium i guess um there there's a little bit of atmospheric distortion that happens so things that are further off aren't going to be as crisp and um so i'm trying to be mindful of the edges that I'm using as well in this. It's uh, something that I've been trying to be more cognizant of as a painter over the past few years. And with watercolor, there's a few more options that I can use with um, controlling the edges that I have, whether it's the type of brush, like I'll use the, the Filbert Grainer brush here and there to get um, so, some uh, uh, different kind of textures that way to soften up the edges a bit. Also, you can just come in and uh, with, with a wet brush and just kind of move it around and the water picks up that pigment on the paper again and resettles it and it's a little bit fuzzier, which is what I'll end up doing with the background here. And uh, especially because like, man, my, my lettering is just 
I, I'm, I've just rarely ever been happy with it. And so having some of that WrestleMania sign that's in the background get uh, kind of washed out a bit, I um, think that that's going to be overall beneficial, especially as I get closer to the foreground and start having more detail. And it's funny, like, you know, this is just where I'm starting out. So there, it's... It's hard to see that anything is happening here, right? Like, it's it's uh, it's it's hard to see what I see, you know, like what I'm building towards. Like, it's just what's furthest off in the background. Like, imagine if you're looking at a, a landscape painting, and the only thing that the the painter has put down so far is the sky. You know, ha hasn't gotten to happy mountains happy trees yet yeah, no no happy little uh streams coming through none of that it's just the beginnings of the furthest background uh but there are a few shapes that are happening in there you can see some of the um the the steel girders you can see yeah, again the wrestlemania sign starting to shape up there's a few things in there that over time will inform the overall painting that I'm doing. Uh, there's going to be just a little bit uh, more in, in this area with, uh, like, there's some cameramen and some lighting men up on a rig that uh, I'll, I'll do that next week and probably get started on the furthest back members of the, the crowd of the audience there and uh, then start making my way down. Uh, and then like it'll be like the ringside announcers it looks like it's a uh, JBL and Michael Cole here uh, we'll get you know a bit more uh, definition to them than you'll see with the crowd and of course Undertaker up front and the ring will get the the highest crispest amount of detail and and edges and keeping that in mind that I'm building towards that um, will overall make a stronger composition when I get there. It's a lot of these little non-exciting uh, things to keep in mind that in the long run, especially with a painting like this that I'm really taking my time with, that will make it, I feel, something more special, more meaningful once I'm done.